licensing. That's a lot of non gamer non disc gamer related licensing. Well, this game in particular licensing, I should I should add, they are game related, of course. Uh, why you always get in way? Why? Like all the time, seriously. SEGA! C-A! The logo for Create Assembly. Total War Warhammer 2! We can't do that big. There's the Vampire Coast. Movie Viewer, yes! Um, uh, not, not yet, not that yet, I'm so excited. <coughs> and welcome to something I've been wanting to do forever. You know, pretty much since it came out, but it came out literally a month before. Well, the dark times for me, or the off time times, pretty much, them too, like this, like the last year. Came out, uh, this is a Total Warmer 2, uh, mm -mm. and I've been, I've been wanting to play this game, but i just never been up for it, sick, busy, what have you, growing, channel, physically, mentally. What have you maturing? What, like, whatever you want. I, I, I was doing a lot of stuff this year, and I could, and I never, I never, could, I, when, when I do a new game, when I do a new game, I want to be my best to show off the game in its best light. 
However, because I was unable to do that for a solid nine months, uh, flat out being offline, I could not play Warhammer 2. So it's that. And then, and then the store, and then the Tool War Stories game came out. I forget what it's called. Uh, the media, the uh, Return to the Medieval Era. Mostly Age of Vikings and only Bren. And, well, the British Isles. And then a extension pack for Total War, for Total War World War Two came out. So I so focus mainly on those in terms of Total War. And pretty much, yeah, I've just been do yeah, I've just been doing other games, other stuff. Because this game just went, you know, further, further down the line of it's already released. And even now, I'm not quite sure how well it will do in comparison to doing a newer game. But because we're kind of in a downtime period of games, as is always the turn of a new year. Well, let's do some more tour. Uh, let's, um... Fi finally do this video, which is and welcome to walkthroughs gameplay video of Total War Warhammer 2 and the shrine. Ah, it's good to be back playing another Total War game. I could have played. Actually, I got. Actually, I got the. I got all of the. I got all of the amazingness of Total War Rome 2. I have, I also just got Tour, Tour Shogun 2, which is pretty interesting. I got that because Japan, Japan's cool, and I probably might be playing the new China game coming up. Um, so yeah. And yeah, I am pretty much becoming a Tour War fan. Um. So instead of doing Shogun 2, which is older than this, I want to do something new and something you all probably might like. But thanks all of the all of new people. Hello, new people. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank you for. Uh, thank you for watching this channel. Um, hopefully, hopefully you like Warhammer. It's a total war game, but hopefully you like Warhammer. I'm still, I'm still figuring what you all like, which mostly it's War to Tactical is what I'm getting. Uh, or not tactical, because that's a different type of genre that's not Total War. Although technically you could argue it for being Total War, if Total War hasn't always been a strategy game. Uses a tactical game's camera. By the way. So yeah, and then I might later play uh, Rome t uh, Total War Rome 2, but I really needed to play this. Um, so what is this? Well, I played the, I played the original Total War uh, I played the original Total War Warhammer on the channel. It was amazing. Man, do a series just never got around to it, unfortunately. Um, the first series I did of Total War was Rome 2. Pretty much because you can only do a series on uh, on because uh, you can only do a series with DLC. But anyway, so yeah. So today we're going to just do some gameplay video. Oh um, man. And why is there a sequel to Total War, uh, Total War Warhammer? It's because Total War Warhammer focused mainly on the old world, aka the Warhammer version of Europe. Which, for those that don't know, war this is this is not Warhammer 40k. Warhammer 40k is what you could say a sequel or spin-off of Warhammer, um, or just a different version of uh, Warhammer 40k was Warhammer Fantasy, as it's now been read directly called to differentiate from 40k into a space game uh so warhammer is a fantasy game set in renaissance in a renaissance like period um as you can as you know if you want to eat my, if you watch my warmer video which is not at all required to watch this although i'll go in more detail about the story of warhammer um which I'm trying to cut off the fat from my intros on these games, I'll be honest with you. Um, or muscle. Or bone. I'm not quite sure what I'm cutting off, but people say cut off, so I, so I am. 
Um, but anyway. So yeah, uh, what was I talking about? But yeah, uh, yeah, the Fantasy Renaissance, Renaissance Arrow game, uh, taking place on an alternate Earth, um, on continents that are familiar, which this game really shows that feature off of Warhammer. You know, familiar like, for example, Atlantis is back. Um, that's where the Elder are from. Or, the Elves are from. Yes. They do get a fancy name, because calling them Space Elves would be rather silly. They're just called Elves in this. And they're from a continent in, the, in between Canada and, well, Britain. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's, you know, it's pretty much Atlantis. Uh, another noble feature is there's a gigantic mountain, ra mountain, ra mountain range in between Europe and Russia, and also Asia. That that thing exists. I mean that that place exists. Um, kidding, but yeah. And also Florida does exist in warmer, which is pure heresy. Uh, but anyway. And this game, this game takes place. This game allows you to sail from Europe to the Americas of this world, which I forgot what it's called. Um. Where you got unique factions in the Americas, you can go to the Elves home world of I me mean, home continent. Oh jeez, one more 40k, but still. And yeah, and one more, f and, and one more two is prima. Uh, one more two, uh, it, you know, like you don't need Warhammer uh, Warhammer one if you have Warhammer two. I don't think. Uh, to play the old faction. I don't know, and I can't confirm without doing research, which I just now thought of doing that research. So yeah, I'll have to look that up, but still. If you get to if you get to a War Warmer 2, you get all the DLCs for Warmer 1. So if you do need to get Warmer 1 to play the older game, which you do, but um, I'm pretty, but it's pretty much the old continents there. I don't know if you can play the old factions, but if you can, you don't need Warmer 1. It's just for people that want all the games. Um, and yeah, but anyway, so yeah, today we're going, to, we're going to just be doing skirmish, what I always favored it in games like this. On oh, my word, they actually understand the whole mess computer. It does not. I mean, I can maybe, maybe, maybe this is just for you know. Um, uh, maybe, maybe that being a choice is a good thing. Battery meter, that's pretty cool. It understands it's a laptop too. Nice, nice. Space tracking, yes, field, yes. Uh, I don't. The only thing I don't. The only, the only thing I don't like is that. I don't like that. Uh, and also, I don't like you know uh, blur. Cause I don't get motion blur in real life. Oh, be right back. I don't get motion blur in life really, so it makes no sense to have it in the game. Ah, yes, unlimited memory. We'll see what happens. But yeah, let's actually look at the campaign real quick. Now, see more empires is the last game. Wait, I might be derping. Okay, this is just for the elves on their Atlantis -like continent, right there. Okay, this is everything. Okay, okay. So if you want to play strictly on the Europe like con, I, I, I'm, I'm terrible, I, I know. I have completely forgotten the Warhammer names for their continents. I knew at one point. But, okay, so, uh, so if you want to strictly play on the Europe like continent with all the, with all the main factions of Warhammer, then you can, then you probably should get the old game. And then this, play with Racist Empire Province, oh, hello. Your Tomb Kings, Vampire Coast. Unfortunately, while this game does add a couple factions, we'll be looking at in a second with Skirmish. It does not add my Amazons. How do you expect me to play a game without playing as humans? At least without really convincing me that the other fa that I like that I could like the other factions. Uh, I mean, come on. Like, where's my average dual faction of the of the Americas? Come on, I mean. Yeah. Or the America Light Faction. Oh, I, 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 I completely forgot their name too. Sorry, sorry, I'm bad. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. I, I, I have completely forgotten. It's been a while. 
Alright, so let's do custom battle. Now, I have no mods on. I am keen to heavily mod my games with uh, add opportunity. High elves. We got high elves in this. Order of Little Masters. The heck are you? Uh, probably high elf faction. More high elf faction. Uh, I don't want to be looking at the high elves. Yeah, high elves, general faction, lizard men. Of Lustria. Yeah, the Americas are called Lustria in this game. Lizard men are basically humanoid. To use the loosest definition of so, as in having arms, at, having or having arms and legs that are human-like. Um, you know, race of lizard men, uh, who are very Aztec, Mayan mix in nature, and are an advanced. No, oh, they they have gigantic cities, um, spreading across this this. Uh, Southern Lustria. And also on that continent, you got... Ignore... Uh, you got the Dark Elves? Who are... Pretty much... Where Elves are... You know, Elves are neutral-ish. Neutral to good. They, at least they think they're good. Um, they try. Not be it, they're snobby, but they try. Uh, Dark Elves are pretty much... They're not sinners because they do things far worse than what a sinner would ever try. Um, so yeah, and they're very sadistic. They love... Seeing others in pain. Also seeing others in love. One particular part of love. Uh, which I don't teach you in school or at least they teach you why you shouldn't do it all the time you know yeah so you don't you know add more life to uh to the world uh they got the vampire counts were in the last game never mind uh oh yeah skaven yeah skaven are new skaven are basically the rogues uh, the rogues of Warhammer, you know, the race of rogues, they just go around stealing your stuff, mur murdering each other, assassinating everyone. Uh, they live in underground cities. They're pretty interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And the Dark Elves worship the Chaos Gods, the High Elves worship. No more gods. Uh, the Chaos Gods, basically, all magic from Warhammer seeps down from the poles in winds, called Winds of Magic, in which you can pull from and then cast spells. Uh, magic in itself is from a chaotic realm. Um, it's generally not a good place in Warhammer. So, yeah. Alright, well, anyway, let's get our good old Emperor dudes. Then yeah, uh, I, I have no idea, by the way, if you can, if you can play these guys in, uh, in in the base game, in the base one or two. So we'll do a we'll do a double battle: uh, high elves, high elves, dark elves, and then lizard dudes. Cause why not? Okay, okay, let's build our army. Let's get call. We need, we need, we need our good uh, emperor, dude. Surely not your emperor. Okay, we get. Let's get some spearmen with shields to make up a bit of our line. Sides. Uh, let's look at tree handgunners, my favorites. They cost money, but they're good money. Uh, good money spent. So what we're gonna be doing uh, is having one spear. Uh, this is going to get complicated. Well, we're, we have a lot of money to spend, so we might as well spend it. 
hippogriff. Never mind, hippogriffs are a type of mythical creature. Oh, let's just do no more knights. It's fine, he has some cavalry. Ah, miss some cavalry. Riders, grenade launcher. Oh, I mean, not riders. Yeah, let's use grenade launcher. Because why not? And then I need my tanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the obelisk on wheels. Gotcha, right. Volley gun, it's a Gatling gun type. Well, not, it's not Gatling gun, that's terrible wording. Basically, it's a three gun, it has nine guns, which rotate. So, not, you have three guns, they fire, rolls over. Three guns, they fire, rolls over. Okay, great cannon. And then we need our steam tanks. Ah, oh, we can't have steam tanks. We don't need this, mi oh, whoops. That actually is my feature. No, I don't need you. Oh, double click. Four is fine. Uh, three hand gunners. Okay, so we want base formation. I mean, uh, it's fairly far on. Can the hand? I mean, it, actually, the hand gunners can be in front and then dash behind the steers. Trying more complicated strategy because I always lose. I do want two tanks. What do I need to do to get two tanks? Uh, we don't need that many horses. There we go. Polygon in the center. Okay. Here we go, Carl. The thing is, cavalry requires a lot of micro cavalry requires a lot of micro management, and I don't necessarily have that. I'm definitely a more macro guy. Uh, we'll have two tanks, one per one, one per flank. Um, you know what? We got tanks. Tanks don't like aiming up. <laughs> Um, let's use cannons. I mean, let's use, yeah, let's use cannons. Oh, uh, I think just get more rifle dudes? Get more rifle dudes, I would think, yeah. Bam! Okay, let's save this as a type standard. SD1. And now let's. Oh, yes, there. Uh, settings, there we go. Land battle, let's actually take place in Lustria. We're basically, jungle. Wherever you, if you see jungle, we fight on jungle. Uh, a lost fall of. That is snow, that is not. That might be Lustria, but up north, we don't want that. That's an elven territory, that won't be too bad. Ah, oh, Lustra, gotcha. Ah, Bell Rhythm Mode on. I, I don't like Bell Rhythm because of, of, my, of how I strategize, which is NASA flanking maneuvers. You have my units. And then we flank around them. And then and then I take some of my units and, I, and do an epic flank. You can't do that in realism because once you get outside of the field once you get outside of the fog of war, you can't move your camera. It's uh, realism is not made for that. Um let's do unlimited because time limits suck. And let's go.